Hello, my name is William Corns, and I just decided to cook one pot chili pasta. I was very interested in this recipe as I love both chili and pasta. All of the ingredients may be found in your typical grocery store, and the cost of making this recipe is relatively cheap. Additionally, only one pot is required to make this dish, making it an excellent choice for those with fewer kitchen supplies and for those who hate cleaning up after cooking. Some of the ingredients you're going to need are one tablespoon of olive oil, one yellow onion, one pound of ground beef, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of chili powder, one 15-ounce can of tomato sauce, one 15-ounce can of black beans, one 15-ounce can of kidney beans, one cup of fresh corn kernels, and two cups of chicken broth. Additionally, this recipe will require one cup of shredded cheese, two cloves of garlic, and two cups of uncooked elbow macaroni. Step one, dice the onion and mince the garlic. Once both are cut into very small, tiny pieces, add them to a large pot along with the olive oil. Set heat to medium and cook until both are soft and transparent. Add the ground beef and stir the mixture until all ground beef has turned brown. Step two, add the flour and chili powder to the pot and stir to coat the meat. Continue to stir and cook the coated meat for about one to two more minutes. The flour and chili powder may coat the bottom of the pot, but this is okay. Just be careful not to let the ground beef burn. Step three. Drain and rinse the black and kidney beans. Add the beans, tomato sauce, and corn kernels to the pot. Stir well and dissolve the flour slash chili powder mixture from the bottom of the pot. Step four. Sorry, step four. Add the dry macaroni and two cups of chicken broth to the pot and stir to combine. Place the lid on top. Turn the heat up to high and let the pot come to a boil. Once it reaches a boil, give it a quick stir to loosen any pasta stuck to the bottom of the pot. Replace the lid and turn down the heat to medium-low. Let the pot simmer on medium-low for about 15 minutes or until the pasta is soft and has absorbed most of the liquid. Throughout the 15-minute interval, stir the pot once or twice to make sure no pasta sticks to the bottom. Step five, once the pasta is fully cooked, turn off the heat and add the cheese. Stir in the cheese until, the pasta, until it is melted and the pasta has become creamy. Now you're ready to serve your pasta. This dish easily serves about five people, but could serve more depending on how much each person consumes. However, with all the people I invited to eat with me happen to be vegetarians, I ended up eating the entire dish in one night. I would recommend this dish to anyone looking for an easy and cheap meal that has very little cleanup time afterwards. And here's my works cited page that I obtained the recipe from.